Teams throws two identical pair dice simultaneously. Each die has six faces, two faces numbered 1, two faces numbered 2, two faces numbered 3. His score is the sum of the two numbers shown on the dice. AI calculates the probability that team obtains the score 6. To find the required probability, we can, con we can consider the next uh, diagram of all possible outcomes and uh, then consider the possible sums. Uh, so it looks like this 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. And you can notice that if we consider, for example, sum of 2, it's possible when 1 and 1, so 2, 2, 2, 2. And you can see that uh, there are 6 times 6, 36 uh, uh, possible outcomes in total. And uh, if uh, we need uh, probability to get the uh, sum of 2, it will be 4 out of 36, which is uh, uh, 1 out of 9. And since uh, uh, there are two uh, equal faces of each number, we can uh, just uh, consider half of this table, of this diagram, and just consider like this, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And, uh, for example, to get sum of 2, it will be 1 and 1 again. And there are 9 possible outcomes in total. And it's only one variant. And we can see that we get the same result. So, we can consider just uh, uh, this uh, uh, diagram. So, uh, let's uh, complete it. Uh, and uh, it becomes sum of 1 plus 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, uh, 5, 4, 5, 6. And it's clear that to get sum of 6, it's only one variant out of 9. So 1 out of 9 is the required probability. Or oh, without the diagram, probability to get uh, a sum uh, to be equal to 6, it must be 3 on the first uh, uh, die and 3 on the second. Uh, on uh, the other die and it's uh, the only one variant and probability to get uh, uh, 3 is 2 out of 6 or so 1 third and probability to get again uh, 3 it's uh, also 2 over 6 or so 1 over 3 and we get the same result uh, 1 over 9 and so answer the answer here is 1 over 9 and the next calculate the probability that tip obtains a score of at least 3 and using the diagram it's quite easy to get a score at least 3 it's 3 or greater we can see that it's 8 out of 9 or without a diagram uh, it's in general it's possible to calculate sum to be uh, greater or equal than 3, so we can consider sum to be equal to 3, 4, 5, and 6, and uh, each variant is uh, or, so plus, and it will be more easier to consider probability that sum is greater or equal than 3 as 1 minus probability that sum is less or equal than 2. And since the least possible value of sum is it's just 2, uh, so it becomes just 1 minus probability that sum is 2. And uh, probability that sum is 2 is just uh, uh, 1 and 1, and probability to get 1 is 1 third, uh, probability to get another 1 is also 1 third, so just 1 minus 1 over 9, which is 8 over 9. And the next nine. Tim plays a game with his friend Bill, who also has two dice numbered in the same way. Bill's score is the sum of the two numbers shown on his dice. BI calculates the probability that Tim and Bill both obtain a score of six. So probability to get uh, 6 and 6. It's uh, probability to get uh, a sum of 6. It's uh, 1 over 9. And again, to get uh, a sum of 6, it's also 
1 over 9, so finally it's 1 over 81. 1 over 81. Calculate the probability that team and will obtain the same score. The same score it means that they can get uh, a sum of 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and each variant uh, will be connected uh, by or so it's uh, plus. So probability to get the same result or the same sum it will be probability to get uh, the sum of uh, 2 so the probability to get uh, uh, the sum of 2 is uh, 1 over 9 and it will be multiplied by 1 over 9 because uh, Tim gets this uh, and B also gets this. Or so plus uh, they get uh, a score of uh, 3, it means the sum of 3 so we can see probability to get a sum of 3 is 2 out of 9 multiplied by 2 over 9 plus to get the sum of 4 we can see 1 2 3 variance out of 9 so it says 3 out of 9 or 1 third times 1 third plus sum of 5 it's 2 out of 9 times 2 out of 9 and probability uh, to get sum of 6 it's 1 over 9 times 1 over 9 and it is equal to 9 over 81 so probability that uh, team and B will obtain the same score it's 19 over 81 let X denote the largest number shown on the four dice so there are four dice and X is the largest number shown on uh, the four dice show that probability that x is less or equal than 2 is 16 over 81. So uh, there are four dice and let's consider uh, so that uh, possible outcome so that the largest number it's uh, another pro problem it's not about sum it's just a number on the four dice and the largest must be uh, 2. So, uh, since uh, the least possible value of 1, it, it is possible to get what? 1, 1, 1, 1. Only one variant. Uh, the largest value is not uh, greater than 2. There are no uh, permutations or rearrangements here. And it may be like this. 1, 1, 1, 2. And 2 may be here, here, or here. So, there are 4 variants. Uh, four, uh, rearrangements or permutations uh, and another combination so that uh, the greatest uh, possible number is uh, not greater than 2 it may be 1 1 2 2 and how uh, to find uh, the number of possible rearrangements uh, we can use the next formula for factorial it's uh, the number of uh, rearrangements of four elements and uh, since there are equal elements we divide by two factorial because there are two equal one once and uh, divide by two factorial because there are two and two two equal elements and four factorial is two times three times four divided by two by two and we can see that it's six so there are six variants or so six uh, permutations or rearrangements of 1, 1, 2 and 2. And also maybe 1, 2, 2, 2 and 1 maybe here, here, here. So four variants and 2, 2, 2, 2. There are no permutations. So one variant. And what is probability to get uh, uh, 1, 1, uh, 1 and 1? So it's a probability to get 1, it's again uh, 2 out of 6 or 1 third. Probability to get this one, it's 1 third, 1 third and 1 third. And so it's uh, 1 over 81. And it will be the same probability because there are the same number of uh, faces numbered 2. So uh, for each 
of this variance, it will be the same probability 1 over 81. And we need just add all possible variance. And there are 10, 11, 12, 16 possible variants. So finally, uh, probability that uh, x is less or equal than 2 is 16 over 81 as required. The next copy and complete the following probability distribution table. Probability that x is less than equal uh, than 2, it means probability x is 1, plus probability that x is 2. So probability that x is 2, it will be 16 minus 1, 15 over 81. And in general, it is possible uh, to find uh, similarly probability that uh, the largest number shown on the four dice is 3, but it will be difficult and more easier just consider and find this value as uh, 1 total probability minus the sum of all other probabilities. So it's 81 minus 1 minus 15, which is 65 over 81. Calculate expected value of x and expected value of x squared and hence find the variance of x formulas are given in data booklet and the expected value of x is just x multiplied by corresponding probability and add all them up uh, such terms. So 2 times 15 over 81 plus 3 times uh, 65 over 81 and it is equal to 226 over 81. Expected value of x squared, it's a similar uh, formula, but uh, we write x squared instead of x, we substitute x squared instead of x, uh, so it becomes 1 squared times 1 over 81 plus 2 squared times uh, 15 over 81 plus 3 squared multiplied by 65 over 81 and it is equal to 646 over 81 formulas are given in the data booklet and variance of x it's expected value of x squared minus expected value of x or mean squared it is equal to uh, 646 over 81 minus 226 over 81 squared and it is equal to 0 0.1912 to three significant figures. D. Given that x is 3, x is uh, the largest number shown on the four dice. Find the probability that the sum of the numbers shown on the four dice is 8. So given its conditional probability and we write the next probability that total or sum sum is 8 on the 4 dice given x is 3. The largest uh, value is 3 and uh, formula for conditional is given in a data booklet and it's and in the numerator so we need sum is 8 and the largest is 3 divided by the probability of uh, given is the largest value on the four dice is 3. So let's consider possible uh, outcomes of variance when sum is 8 and uh, the largest uh, value is 3. So it may be 3, 3, 1, 1. We can see the largest is 3 sum is 8 and also we need number of uh, rearrangements uh, and it's again 4 factorial, 2 factorial over 2 factorial it's 6 what uh, is another possible variant it may be 3, 2 2 and 1 and number, number of uh, permutations or rearrangements it's 4 factorial divided by uh, 2 factorial and it's uh, 2 times 3 times 4 and it's 12. There are 12 variants of permutations or arrangements and uh, again probability to get uh, 1 or 
two or three, it's uh, the same probability in each trial, uh, and it, uh, this probability is one third. And uh, for example, probability to get three is one third, probability to get three is one third, and probability to get one is one third, probability to get one is also one third. And since there are six such variants, it will be just multiplied by six plus. Uh, probability to get 3 is 1 third, multiplied by probability to get to 1 third times 1 third times 1 third, because uh, there is equal probability to get uh, 1 or 2 or 3, because uh, two faces number it 1, two faces number it 2, two faces number it 3, and six faces in total. And uh, since there are 12 possible variants, so we multiply by 12 and and it is equal to it is equal to 18 over 65 oh sorry 18 over 81 81 so it's 18 over 81 divided by probability that the largest value is 3 it's just 65 over 81 6 it's from here from the table 65 over 81 and we can see that finally it is equal to 18 over 65 And that's all for this question.